All right, it's uh, time to get back on the horse. Time to play with some clay. It's taken me almost 45 minutes to get ready to do this today. <laughs> it's just been a wonderful day. I wanted to get this uh, horse figure on a more stable uh, platform. I have a plastic uh, stand that it came with, but the, the plastic stand is narrow, and I, I'm always afraid it's going to fall over, so I uh, had it on you know, with a uh, rod attached to it, stuck into this green foam for quite a while. But even that was not really the best or ideal situation. I wanted to have something where I could turn it easily and uh, look at it from any side. And uh, so I've uh, rearranged this uh, horse anatomy thing, which... I purchased from anatomytools.com. Uh, this is probably the cheapest uh, version they have. They have a bigger one, but boy, is it expensive. Woo! And the painted one with all the muscles painted and everything, tendons and all that stuff, which I really don't think is necessary unless you're going to school to be a veterinarian or a horse doctor, which is a veterinarian. But uh, that one would be a perfect one for them. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is it took me a long time to figure out how to set this up so I could look at it and view it properly. And I still got the damn thing in there crooked, so it's leaning a little bit sideways like this way. But that's okay, it doesn't hurt anything. All right, I'm going to get busy and quit talking. I must say that uh, having an anatomical study sitting here right next to you while you're working is extremely helpful. And if you're going to do a lot of horses, extremely logical for spending that kind of money for them. Because you can look at drawings all day long, but those are two-dimensional. You need something three-dimensional that uh, helps you see exactly the structure of the muscle. And then it's up to you to transfer that visual into a three-dimensional.
Of course, the uh, muscle changes as you uh, put it into action. Now I've got to determine the height of the ground, which is up here. I got to keep that screw exposed because that's the screw that's holding it onto the turntable. And I got to be able to get to that screw to take him off the uh, board and put it back onto the main board. So I've got to sculpt around that. But to do the tail, I've got to have the ground level. And uh, that's what I'm doing here.
Yeah, the horse is almost completely grounded. Which is bad news for the cowboy. Especially if he's amongst the herd. attack the tail what I'm going to do is I'm going to block in the tail and uh, then I'll come back and put the detail in I'm going to change the angle of his leg a little. All right, I'll come back when I get this leg pretty well sketched in because I cover all this in my instructional videos that I have on creating a horse, and uh, I've got a couple of those. And uh, I'll come back when I get this thing roughed in and I'll uh, show you how what I've gotten done. Be right back. All right, I've got the... Uh, bone structure of the uh, front legs worked out. I'm going to have to come back and do this tomorrow and uh, put the muscles on. And once I do that, I'm pretty close to booting, putting the uh, saddle permanently on the horse. I've got the chest area to work out and the uh, genitals. I won't be doing that on camera. <laughs> but anyway... Um, but I'll continue this tomorrow. As you can see, I add a little bit of a break in the t tail. I'm gonna let I'm gonna sit with that for a while to see how it feels. And because uh, if I have a break, it costs more to make a mold. I mean, this thing is not gonna be cheap anyway. But uh, I just uh, I'm trying to keep the cost down as much as I can. All right, everybody, uh, have a great night, and um, I'll see you uh, 
next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.